beat. Oh, yeah! It's your old pal, Kurt, and he's back for the second time in one week because this upcoming Saturday is a very special day, and I've got a special beer to commemorate that. It is Record Store Day. And for those of you millennials out there that sit at home and download your music at the touch of a button, we are missing out on something special. Because people of my generation appreciated music in a tactile way, where we really hungered for it. You couldn't just listen to your music at the touch of a button. You had to wait for it. And you couldn't hardly stand it. You would go out, pick it out, go home, throw it on, and soak it up, man. Every square inch of it. The liner notes. Uh, the album cover. I love it. And uh, it was a beautiful thing. And it's coming back. Some of you are appreciating it for the first time. Some of you are remembering how it worked out. And I'm telling you, you, you can go down there and find novelty like this and say, is Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom? What fun that was. Or uh, a Kiss album. Hey, don't judge. This is actually one of my favorite Kiss albums. And uh, the Mighty Black Sabbath. Oh, my God. Yeah, put this on and just let it rip. Chicago. Fuck that. Oh, my God, Chicago. Anyway. But, you know, you're going to sit at home because you're afraid, I don't know if I go to the store, there's a guy wiping his nose on his sleeve and there's germs and everything. You know what? That's a good point. Who knows what you're going to catch when they go out there in public. Holy shit, I'm not selling this right at all. Record store day, man. Go down there, get a Pink Floyd album, blow home, tell your wife, hey, make me a sandwich and wash your butt because I'm going to tear up both. We're going to sit in the dark and listen to Pink Floyd. It's going to be awesome. Woo! Anyway, Dogfish Head has a beer to drink music by. This is a Belgian style triple ale, which they assure me is the official beer of Record Store Day. Uh, I don't know how, you just announced the, can they just say that they are, or is there, I don't know how that works really. It says it's a Belgian style ale brew with sweet orange peel, green cardamom, peppercorns, and vanilla. Card, is that a cardamom, is that a flower? Shit, I don't know how to make beer. Anyway. I'm going to crack this open and uh, tell you what it's all about. If you notice, I'm going to pour this beer in my Lucky Records glass, but it's starting to get warm. And I'm also wearing my Lucky Records shirt, which you can't see because uh, I got a, a pretty terrific beard that crawls all the way down in front of it. I also got like a closet uh, full of ties, which it, are irrelevant now that I have a beard. So that alone should give you incentive to grow a big burly beard like this so you don't have to wear a tie. You go, yeah, I'm wearing a tie. You can't see it. And this beer, uh, so far it doesn't smell like anything special. It's got a nice, mmm, yeah, I get the Belgian ale coming out of there. Man, nothing too uh, snappy, it's just a, a, a good ale. I don't know what kind of music do you want to pair this with, but I know what kind of music I'm going to pair it with. So uh, head out and get yourself a record and a beer. It's your old pal, Kurt.